hello internet and, and welcome back. And maybe some continuity issues in this video because uh, as I speak it is um, a Thursday night. I had a night off last night Wednesday, just wasn't feeling it to be honest. But tonight really wanted to get that last panel put in there. So pretty much boxed in all the shower now. Um, this side of the set can't uh, do anything with it at the moment because I've got to... Well, we had a bit of a discussion, me and the missus tonight. What I've got to do is obviously put the plate, which I think is going to be somewhere there for the shower. But of course, we're doing a brickwork design on these tiles. So it's, it's going to take an awful lot of working out. Um, because the tiles are bigger than before, the shower tray is in a different position. Um, but I've got to come up from the shower tray um, as much as I can. Um, and then probably the bottom row of tiles will be um, chopped down all the way around, which is annoying, but um, hey, so be it. But I've got to try and get this wall as perfect as I can. And what means is going to happen is, is the plate's got to be right smack bang in the middle of one big tile, just there. Um, that works well, let me back up a little bit. So just there, one big tile, then small tiles there and there. Um, and then obviously half tiles underneath it. Um, the only problem I've got really is if I start on that wall then I really don't know how it's going to pan out on that wall and this one because they're all different sizes. Um, it doesn't matter too much because you don't see them for the door but to me it matters because I want it right. So that wall is going to be a challenge but that wall has got to be spot on um, and I've got to also remember that um, there's a shower door in there as well. So I've got to make room for everything. It, it's a bit of a challenge and it's really doing my head in at the moment. And I really can't be bothered to think about it too much. Um, obviously this wall over here I want to get as, as good as I can. Um, because obviously that is the main one that you are going to see. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a real challenge. It really is. Um, and I've got to spend a lot of time thinking. But next job is to get the new pump in, to get the shower uh, in as well, because that's going to take, um, I'm going to have to cut quite a bit out of here, I think, probably up to there. Uh, brace it across, uh, strengthen it, and get it ready for what is quite a big shower uh, mixer, concealed mixer. Uh, you saw it last night, so. Um, it's quite a long way to it, it's, it's got to be well braced uh, and these walls are, well, not, not, not well braced to say the least but not to worry, I'll get it done so, um, this is just going to be a small intro to a longer video um, obviously not doing any more tonight, it's about 9 o'clock at night um, the joys of working until 5, 6 o'clock at night but um, yeah, I've got that bit done, I'm happy with that um, now, yeah, the hard work begins. The plumbing bit, uh, don't mind, I'm quite good at that. But the planning bit, um, it's got to be spot on because I think if I get it wrong, it's going to look terrible. Well, it is, it's going to look terrible. Right, I'm waffling on. Um, I will see you in this video for you, but uh, the next day for me. <laughs> right, catch you later, YouTube. So then, YouTube, it's a Saturday morning. And uh, yeah, today's job. That pump in, that one's just come out. Lots of plumbing in here. Get rid of the old plumbing that was to do with the shower I already had. And yeah, put uh, put new feet in. Just drained the water system down. Um, obviously took the pump out of there. So um, yeah, it's, um, it's going to be a lot of work today. But uh, don't mind a bit of plumbing. So let's get on with it. Right, sip rep. <laughs> uh, yeah, update. Um, so, got the a lot of the old piping out. Uh, tanks obviously drained down. Changed the plumbing there because that had a 15mm going off it. Got a 22mm now, shut off valve there. That's going to go into the pump itself. Uh, pump obviously goes into the outlet for the hot water taps there. And then I'm going to branch off there and there and up there to go to the new shower. So getting there slowly. Okay, slight change of location and now for uh, a little fire. Now as I said with these before, you don't have to go mad, you just heat them up nice and gently 
all the way around until the solder starts to pop itself out the top. Plenty of flux, those pre-solder joints are pretty good. Let's warm them up and you will see them push the solder out from inside. 22s take a little bit more heat obviously. But much the same principle. Popping itself out the top there. See that? Just a little bead of solder. That's all it takes. And there you go. Three joints. All nice and soldered. Like I say, as soon as you see that solder start to come through the top, the flux will bring it through. And uh, you don't need to go mad. As soon as you see that come through like that, take the heat off it, move on to the next one. Right, let that cool down and then uh, go back to the uh, the cupboard, like Harry Potter. And there you go, the key to everything is an old white PTFE tape. Get plenty of that on there because that will make a good seal. So basically that one's going up there, like that. Let me get your end here. Uh, there'll be another isolating valve on there for the shower. Um, but the one I took off is, well it's all furred up so I'm going to get a brand new one. Weiss just nipped out to get that. And then we're going to cut that pipe down and we will elbow it off into the pump. Oh, what a day. Um, so the old pump's back in. The new pump that um, I got from eBay. Yeah, shouldn't know better really. Um, didn't work. It looked like somebody had been tampering with it. It had been taken to bits and um, yeah, the magnetic pickets have uh, had been removed. So yeah, old pump's back in again. It should be powerful enough. I just wanted more, but there you go. Um, so what I'm doing now is basically, um, you can see a couple of holes there, oh look, see daylight through that one. That is where the battens are going to go. Um, so there's two battens that have got to go uh, in there, and a cross, whoops, come out of it, across there, uh, into the wall. Um, those battens will pretty much hold the mixer part of the shower up. And then I've got to also look at um, what I do up there, because I've got to plate or do something up there to actually hold the uh, the rainfall head um, the rest of it should be pretty much okay um, so yeah just starting to to plan out the battens and uh, yeah once I get those in I can create the hole and start putting the mixer bit in and then um, we've got some plumbing from here to go around uh, yeah from here to go around into it's around about there where the mixer is going to be and then we've got the cold feed coming down from up there. Um, so it's just a lot of planning and a lot of work, but uh, worth it in the end. The wife's always wanted a concealed shower, and uh, the wife's always right, of course. Right, let's get on with it. Let's chat. So this is my scribblings to make it um, <laughs> hopefully a bit more <laughs> understandable. Uh, so measure out the tile. The tile will fit just there, and the plate will fit just there and the shower mixer will be just there okay um so obviously you can see here we have just marked it out a couple of buttons are going to go across there and they will hold it there's, there's actually only two screws that hold the the whole thing together but obviously once you've got the pipes and everything else on there they do give it a bit of stability so um i'm going to put the buttons in on the other side not embed them into the wall because i haven't got enough room if i put them in the wall so i've got a button the other side mount them out a little bit as well because uh well, I need about nine inches between the batten back and the front bit here. So um, yeah, I've just got to um, just got to plan it. Just got to do it. Simple as that. But I've got quite a sturdy bit there to go off, um, and obviously another one just there. So I'll just burn it over, and uh, yeah, it'll all work fine. What's the worst that can happen? Don't. Well, oh, it's been a long day, <laughs> to say the least. Um, there we go. Got the. Uh, the batten ready to go in, just made that, so that'll go along there like that, if you can see that, it's a bit dark in there, and then the pump, oh, have a way around, don't get it wrong way around boy, 
So that'll go in there like that. And then the pump will sit in there, like that. So it's about there. There you go. Right, let's um let's get busy with fizzy. Yeah, something like that. Well, it doesn't feel like I've got a lot done today, but really I have. So all the bracketry is up now for holding the uh, the valve, and that's all in place. Uh, about it all day. <laughs> it's about uh, six o'clock at night. I've been at it since ten o'clock-ish. Oh well. So that is in place. Just got to put uh, a hole in place and, and mount it. Then I can start plumbing it, but I might leave that till tomorrow. Uh, plumbing's not going to be too bad. Um, probably a couple of hours work. Uh, <laughs> shame about the pump. Uh, so the old one's back in there. It's not as powerful as the one I bought, but the one I bought, um, it's not fit for purpose. So um, yeah, what can you do? Let me just take you into the on-street itself, but there's not much to see in there. Yeah, so inside the on-street itself, like I say, not much to see. Um, but that's where the plate is going. So obviously this is where the new uh, structure is going to be in place. So I've got to dig that out, put the valve in, and then obviously the plate will go on top. But it'll all be covered by tiles, so you won't see anything behind there at all. And then, uh, just going to repair that bottom bit there. And, um, yeah, like I said, blew it up. There's... Uh, yeah, there's, there's progress today, definitely. Um, obviously got to put the uh, waterfall head up there. Uh, I've got a backing plate to cut for that. Um, and then there's going to be another shower connection somewhere there. Uh, so they can just wash down when she's finished. But there you go. Um, it, it never looks a lot of process at this point. A lot of progress, rather. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's been hard work, it really has. It's not an easy job at all, and it's not a five minute job by any means. But there you go, right. I'm gonna get tidied up, and I think I'm gonna get myself maybe a well and beer, who knows. Well, it's mocked up. Not permanent yet, but it's mocked up. There you go, that's where it's gonna sit. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, spot on. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, that is close. Not sure about perfect, but it's well, close. It will be when it's done. I'm not sure it will be. Right, I'll do for tonight. I think it's beer o'clock. Serving wench. No, I'm sorry. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like I can get my own. <laughs> <I'm> mine. <sighs> right, later, YouTubes.